Bleecker Digital Solutions has been established since 1999, and that's over 20 years of service. They offer many different products and services, but this tutorial will show you how to mail your film to Bleecker. First off, you want to get a Ziploc bag and you're going to put your film in it. This will help keep the film lightly protected as well as all together if you have several rolls like I do here. And I like to remove all the excess air, not anything crazy, but just so that way it doesn't take up a lot of room in the package. Next, you're going to go to bleakerdigital.com. Here I have it on my iPad. Make sure you have the URL correct. On the ribbon menu on the top, you're going to select Mail Film. This link will take you to a mail order form in order to send your mail in correctly. Here you will fill out all your basic information as well as the options to dev, scan, and print. You can send this form in online or you can also print it out and put it in your mailer. On this form, you will put your full name, your phone number, email, address, and again, your dev, scan, and printing options. If you would like the lab to only develop, then you will check this box. This is to say that you have means of scanning your own film. Bleaker does cut the rolls into strips before shipping it back to you. If you are picking up in person, you do have the option to have your negatives uncut. If you would like Bleaker Digital Solutions to develop and scan your negatives, be sure to select the second box. In the drop-down menu, be sure to select which option you want. Bleaker uses a dip and dunk machine to develop the film and also offers services for drum scanning. And they also offer many different resolutions and file formats. Scan photos will be sent to your email via FTP link. If you would like Bleaker Digital Solutions to develop, scan, and print your photos, select the third option. You'll also need to select an option from the drop-down box. If you would like your printed photos to have a white border, don't forget to select this last box. When sending your film, you need to fill out the quantity of each type of roll you have. Additionally, if you have any special instructions, don't forget to fill out that box. Here, I have four 35mm rolls and one 120 roll. I also want the 120 roll to be developed as if it were a 400 ISO, so I'll indicate that in my special instructions. You can also use a sharpie to mark your rolls if you want to push or pull your film. Next, I'll put the Ziploc bag inside a mailer. This one is bubble wrap protected and also airtight. I will also pack the film order form in this mailer. Then you can send your package off to the lab. Once the order is received, the lab will call or text for payment information. Be sure to visit their website, bleakerdigital.com, for the most up-to-date prices on their products and services.